Hey guys, finally getting a video blog together for you here. Uh, lots to talk about, but I'm going to keep it short because we have silly crap that I'd like to show you. One of the biggest things is uh, all the finances for Generation 1 are done as of the end of 2013. All the extras are ordered, printing and shipping is prepaid, everything is done and figured out, the team is paid. All that's left is to finish the pages, get them to the printer, ship the books to you guys. Let's take a look at the extras. Behold! Generation 1 swag. It all came in. We have it all. T-shirts, posters, the bookmarks, the postcard, the stickers. It's in. It's in giant boxes taking up space in my house. Alright, let's break it down. Right here we have our pair of vinyl stickers. Uh, the $35 level and up. Backers get this. Uh, this one actually has a picture of Mars on it that is from the comic itself. Uh, that wasn't around when we were running the Kickstarter. And then this is our sort of uh, classic Picus on the, the ridge shot. Over here we have our Picus and Curiosity Greetings from Mars postcard. Logo on the back. Uh, the back is not glossy, you can write on that. Here we have our bookmark. I love these. On one side you got July, other side you got Picus, both sides have Tim's awesome all over them. Right here we've got our uh, early production pictures of the team. Not Team Gen 1, but Picus July and company. Lao Zhao July, Picus Ada, Norman. And uh, everybody above $35 uh, got that one. That was a stretch goal. Then over here we have the stuff that's for our $100 backers. Uh, these things were all available, I believe, as uh, add-ons also. So here we've got the American base poster, or the Chinese base poster. Our $100 backers got to choose uh, which one they wanted. Or they had the option to have us surprise them. And then here, I'm super freaking proud of these. Um, this is a really nice shirt. Like, it's comfortable. Good thread count. It's not a cheap shirt. We figured you guys raised thirty thousand dollars for us. We're not going to give you a cheap shirt. It's classy charcoal. We were thinking like, do we want to do black? And we're like, that's like every band T-shirt. And we were like, do we want to do red? Cause Mars. And we're like, and then no one will be able to wear it. So charcoal it were. And then we've got the awesome Generation One logo that. Uh, Lena and Josh came up with. That's just the extras for the Kickstarter itself for our backers. Obviously all of our backers get the uh, digital copy of the comic when it finally comes out. Uh, and we're, we're on track for our November uh, 2014 goal. So that's this year, which is awesome and terrifying. Uh, but we're doing good. Tim's turning in pages on schedule and everything's looking great. We've got some cool stuff in the works. Uh, we've got at least one digital surprise that wasn't mentioned anywhere on the Kickstarter that we'll be uh, sending with you guys, possibly others. Uh, there's even the possibility of some uh, Generation 1 uh, fiction. So we're excited about that possibility too, and we'll let you guys know more in a future vlog. In case you didn't see it in a previous update, uh, we've actually hired another artist to do our Halloween bonus issue. It's a guy named Yusuf. He's super amazing and awesome. We met him in Chicago at C2E2 in 2012. We were all at a panel and he's an awesome dude. But we basically brought him on board to help Tim out, give Tim a little bit. Tim is still doing the three uh, issue core story and then Yusuf's going to jump in on the Halloween issue. We're super excited to get his take on Generation 1 and the world and the characters. It's a very different style from Tim's but Everybody is awesome in its way, and so we're, we're super excited. I'll let Yusuf introduce himself. Yo, Yusuf! Hi, I'm Yusuf Abunama, and I'm going to be drawing the Halloween issue for Generation 1. Well, I think that's all for now, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll try not to make it so long before the next one. Uh, you guys have a great day, and, and thank you again for, for being a part of this. I know we're kind of in the middle of production here, and it's not new like it was when the, the Kickstarter was running, and... Uh, it's not exciting like it will be uh, closer to the ship date, but I want you guys to know that even in the middle of it, we're just grateful and 
stupidly excited amidst all the work just to to get this out to you guys. Every time Tim turns in a page, I'm like, I just can't wait for people to see this. So, uh, you guys take it easy. We'll catch you next time. I like the finished suitcase. Thanks. This is our brother Paul, for anybody who hasn't met him. This is my poor attempt at No Shave November. <laughs> I put the no in No Shave November. <laughs> it looks, see how you can't see that? That's the, that's the first page. Oh, it's like the button's stuck. Oh, man. Um. I am... Hoy. Yeah, that's not usable. It, it wouldn't be us if something didn't go wrong. Just made my first purchase with the Kickstarter money. A replacement pen for Tim's monitor. Thank you, backers. Does it look like 50 bucks to you? Uh, I'll let you know when I use it. Oh. Is it better than the other one, even? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, we should have done this. We should have done this before. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Something did occur to me with these pictures. She's taller than him. Yeah, the the like the proportions and stuff like that, I can... You can kind of tweak that when you draw it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Because that's the only thing I notice is just Pike is supposed to be taller. Yeah. But other than that, it's looking fantastic. I love that. So, it's... Whoosh! Whoosh! Bam! So I'm at Tim's apartment complex right now, I'm running him script pages. I've done this the last few nights. I go and write and I bring everything directly over to him. Um, hopefully here I can start to get ahead. Okay. Page three and four? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So... Okay, so there's our base, our establishing shot. I thought about making it a bleed, but I didn't have a good way to blend it, and it, since it was already an established picture, I just cropped it and cut it. No, cool, I like the extra stuff. I love Picus uh, zooming by on the front. It's there, there's the American flag. I mean, it's... it's I'm, all. Like, I'm liking the pencils, too. And there's a... Uh... Oh, okay, yep. Who is that? Is that Sean? Yeah, I think his is the one that he, he said he liked to be Sean. hands on, just like making. Sean B. Yeah, he. With he, the covered wagon. He said he, he wanted to be hands on, like out there doing stuff. Uh, cool. So, what do you do anyway? What, what do I do? What do you do? What do like? I do? <laughs> what do I do? I. What do I do? Ta da! Back at it again, eh? We have completely taken over this study room. Those were in the hall. Battle 2. I'm ready to fight him. To fight Mars. Picus for Mars. To fight for Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to fight Mars, the planet. Get a shovel. <laughs> that comic book would have been so cool. Hey, I made a family photo. I didn't remember that. We got our floating digital advertisements. Oh, yeah. It's... I was doing it for, for the kids' therapy. It was supposed to be, 
You were supposed to, like, say, draw a picture of yourself having a meltdown. <laughs> and so, I was like, okay, I'll draw mine, and you draw yours. And they just watched me draw <laughs> mine. And said, All right, well, I guess that was pretty therapeutic. <laughs> So now I know what to look for when I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> wow. You're like, is this what I look like? You, you, you forgot to put a phone to your ear with me on the other end. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Hi. 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 <laughs> Who's this? This. Pancas. That's right. That's right. Who's that? Ah, uh, this, 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 <laughs> Okay, where's July on this page? Where is she? Right there. Oh yeah, that's her. Hey, where's Picus? Picus right here. Oh yeah, good job. <laughs> where's, boy, oh, this one. What is that? This hand. No, that's not a hand. This. It's a Hi. hand. It's not, it's not a car, that's a boot. <laughs> That'll do wonders for your ego as an I, artist. I, I need to work on my still lifes. <laughs> How does it feel to be working with a, a genius like, like Stephen R. Stewart? I mean, what is he like? Tell us what he's like. Like most geniuses, like they like to call themselves, they're self-absorbed. <laughs> The, it's all about them, but you have to give them some leeway because, you know, they're being creative or something. <laughs> and I, I guess that merits some, some, some sway socially. Al and I drove down to Oklahoma City in freezing rain to see Alkaline Trio, and we are in maybe the most empty mall I've ever seen in my life. There's where they tan people's skin. Oh Shut up, that gosh. scared the crap out of me. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Yep, keep going straight, birdie girl. All right. A little bit left, a little bit that way. See the deer tracks? Oh, yeah. Know. Here we are in the T-Rex Cafe. There's the T-Rex behind the exit sign. There's a woolly mammoth, here in the ice cave. There's some family, some triceratopses, a giant nautilus. What's happening out here? No. Yeah, do you like snow? Yeah. 
What do you like about snow? I like to eat snow and jump in the snow and stick my tongue out and eat the snow. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. I don't feel good about that. <laughs> And a beer, old Saint Nicholas airborne. Salty snowflakes and winter winds, tears of joy evermore. Smiling down on all fifty states, the lights of Christmas illuminate. Coast to coast, the United States of a Merry Christmas to all. A Merry Christmas, I A sudden tear in the clouds, light of the moon on shrouds, catching him by surprise. Chris Kringle widens his eyes, buttons pop, <laughs> red fabric tears, class tusks, wings, cloak of hair, falling fright, turns into flight on Christmas night, like Batman, yeah. Hey! 